welcome back now in this video as I told you before you will start working right on the profile screen it's gonna be simply for the profile company of a user so first let me just close that from here job details dot dot and also the job widget dot dot and right in here I will also close that job screen dot dot I'll go simply towards the search folder as you guys can see right in here open that profile company dot dot so now we are on the profile screen now right in here I'll go towards the profile as you guys can see in here so right in the screen the first thing that I will remove is that app bar because we don't need this and we're gonna create a beautiful UI design for the profile screen first let me remove that app bar so scroll down in here as you guys can see the app bar from here to here simply dial this okay there we go now you simply come here and how to load the app So there we go. It's just loading now. We will go towards the profile screen and we will just see. As you guys can see right in here, the app bar has been gone now. Now let's move further. Now we will create a method in which we will simply get the user data. For example, its email, name, phone number, user image, etc we will get that right in this method but before creating that method we are gonna need some variables first we will create that okay so above the widget build as you guys can see right in here we will create some variables the first one that we will create it's gonna be simply string type okay we will create it for the name Let's also create another one. It's going to be simply for getting the email. So, as the initial phase, we will just provide the empty string. Let's create another one. This one will be simply for the phone number. Empty string and semicolon at it end. Also, we will create for the image URL empty string that we will provide also create another one this is going to be simply for the join at so in here we will say join at empty string write it and send column now we're going to create a bool type simply this is going to be private so in here we will say is loading name this as a is loading so right in here as initial we will provide the false and again we will create it for the it's going to be private going to be for the same user is same user as initial we will provide false as you guys can see right in here so we first create that because we are about to create the method as I told you before it's gonna be simply for getting the user data in which we will get the name email phone number image URL join it and also we're gonna use that is loading and it's same user now we were left with one thing first in here first let me create that in here so we will say final string and gonna name this as user ID okay now 
we will make a constructor for that so in here we'll say const key and we will say profile screen as you guys can see okay so now right in here parentheses and in there curly brushes so in here semicolon now right in there we will say required and this dot user id as i told you before right in the previous video first let me just open the comments now i have already explained this in detail and i told you that if the user just click on that profile it will simply get the user to that current profile screen okay for now Ali is online there's the current user that we are logged in okay so if Ali wants to check that Tony Star profile he can simply click on his profile and it will get the Ali to the Tony Star profile screen okay in here we add the on tap event and we left that empty for now we will just add the navigator right in that on tap event right in the comment widget design that we just implemented before now we will simply go right in here as you guys can see the widgets folder in here just open that comments widget dot dart so we are here on the comments widget okay now in here as you guys can see that on tap event we left that empty now we will add the navigator so then if the user wants to check the other user profile they can simply click on their profile and it will get them right to the profile screen so in here for that first we will add the navigator so in here we will say navigator dot push replacement it's going to take the contacts and now we will provide the root the root is going to be material page root okay and in there we will provide the contacts now move it to the right side and in here we will just push the user right to the profile screen as you guys know already so in here profile screen and now it's gonna take the user ID okay so let me explain that as I tell you already the current user that we are logged in is Ali in my case okay so if the Ali wants to check the Tony Stark profile and if Ali clicks on that profile only then we will send the Ali right to the specific user whose name is Tony Stark and we will show the profile for that so right in here we will provide that specific user ID okay only then it will work just fine as I told you right in here so now in here we will provide the user ID so in here we will say widget and the user ID is gonna be the commenter ID okay guys so right in here let me just show you as you guys can see that commenter ID okay I have already explained this in detail so I hope you guys can get the idea and that's gonna be simply the user ID so right down in here what you will say back again here you'll say widget dot commenter ID there you go with the suggestion and write it and semicolon so make sure to make it in a proper way let me show you one more time okay now what we will do we will simply close that comment widget dot dot and we will go towards the bottom navigation bar dot dot open that here we are right in the bottom navigation bar for app okay now we will scroll down and we will go towards the index I think it was the there we go okay that one it was for profile screen okay as you guys can see the error now we will modify the code right in the index 3 as you guys can see the profile screen now what I'll do right in the index 3 and these curly brasses first we will create a instance right to the firebase authentication so in here let's create that so we will say final and firebase auth authentication now we're gonna name this as a auth and we will make this as a private okay so in here underscore auth and now in this we will just assign 
firebase all dot instance so we are done with the instance and we will create user okay last user and user object type and then we will say auth okay then we will say current user authentication for the current user and we just assign that right in the user okay user object type now let's create string type name this as uid and we will just assign the user now we check with the specific uid and we just assign that user with a specific uid we just assign that right in that uid string type now we will provide user id okay right in here so we will pass that so in here we will say user id okay and there is going to be that specific uid that we just created a while ago okay that one in which we just assigned that so we have to provide that in order to send the user to the another user profile screen so we have to do that now we are done with that and let me just close that button navigation bar now we are on the profile company dot dot and now we will just hold to load the app and see the result if it send the user to the profile screen or not hold to load the app there we go it's loading now in here let's open that job in my case and open that and now we will just see the comments open it and there we go with the comments now we are currently online by the Ali account okay as you guys can see the comment now right in here that the user that we are logged in now I'll go towards the Tony Star account just simply click on the profile tap on it and it will just send you right on the profile screen for now in here right in the profile screen it's totally empty but there is that combination of a two color gradient color okay now as you guys can see it's working totally fine okay it just send the user to the profile screen now we will check it one more time and there's gonna be the similar user but it will work just fine tap on it and it will send the user to the profile screen and that's gonna be the similar user profile screen okay it's gonna belong to Ali let's check that one in here Tony Stark tap on it okay it's working totally fine and you guys can see that now as I tell you already that we will implement a method right in the profile company dot dot in which we will simply get the user data for example his name email phone number image URL and so on so first we just create that variables in order to assign the name email phone number image URL and so on first we will get that right from the firebase right from the collection of a user so work further now down in here we will create that method now so we will say white and gonna name this as a get user data this is gonna be asynchronous so in here async and curly braces tag this down and guys the method that I'm creating is above the widget build okay so right in there first we will say try and call the braces now take this down scroll it in here we will set the is loading to true and now we will create a document snapshot okay as I explained this before right in the previous videos so there is no need of explaining it again now we will name this as user doc user document and now we will assign there we are about to implement right in this user doc okay so in here we will say avid since it's a asynchronous method and let's create a instance 
Firebase Firestores dot instance right to the collection we will take this down from here so that you guys can see it easily so the collection is going to be the user as I told you already okay we will get the data right from the user collection right from the Firebase Firestore as you guys can see the instance right in here okay now take this down and in here we will say dot doc document okay so right in there we will say widget and we will just see the user ID okay and then right after that we will simply get the data right from the right from the user collection and we will see that right in the documents that specific user ID okay only then we will get the data for that specific user right from the collection of user and you guys can see that instance right towards the firebase firestore and I hope you can get the idea now that what we are doing in here so in here right in the user doc we just assign all of that okay it's right inside the user doc 